Uh, hi everyone, this is Akash from PNP and today I'll show you how to install AdGuard on your Ukraine NAS. AdGuard is a DNS um, ad blocker. So this works similar to Pi-hole but this is uh, more easier to configure. And I like the UI because this is a little bit more uh, modernish compared to uh, Pi-hole. So we will use of course Docker for this. So first log into your Ukraine NAS, go to File Manager and create two directories. I have created a directory here called AdGuard and under AdGuard I have created two directories for configuration and as the working directory. So if you look at the official um, uh, hub image here of AdGuard, it shows you that you need to run this command <coughs> docker run with the name restart policy and there are two volumes that you need to configure here. That's why we created the directories. All of these port forwarding we don't have to worry about because what we will do is we will uh, configure it in host mode. So all the ports of host will anyway be uh, redirected. Okay, so now since I have these two directories, I have to go to Docker. I go to Images, Image Database, and search for AdGuard. AdGuard Home, this is the image. I can pull it. We'll use the official image. Once it's downloaded, you can go to container, create a new container using the image that we have just now downloaded. Add card, confirm. All right, uh, all these you can leave as they are. Uh, probably click on auto restart. Uh, these two values you have to make sure that these are correct, and for that you can go to project and click on create a new project, and you'll see that uh, these two values is what you have to use. So back to your container and you see that yes, these two values were correct. All right, auto restart, that's the container name, you can leave it as it is. Two volumes I told you you need to create. So the first volume is from the NAS configuration directory and also the work directory and they will have to be mounted at we see in the root opt at guard home work this is where you have to have the mount point <coughs> and conf i think yes it was conf all right permission would be read write so your container can read and write on these directories network configuration as i said we if we do host, then we will save ourselves the trouble of uh, uh, having to forward all these ports. And this is it. Just click on confirm. Okay, so this is running. Once you go to the log, it will show you where it is running. It's running on the port 3000, alright? So... You can go to 10, 30, 30, 163, 3000 port. Okay, get started. Listening to the interface, select the interface here, which is your uh, NAS interface. Uh, DNS server again on the same NAS interface. This is important static ip address what i have done is i have manually given my uh, nas a static ip address you have to have static ip address there or if you use a dhcp server then make sure that you have a reservation for your nas so your nas's ip should not be changing right click next you can give a username and password next <clears throat> port 80 is already in use so you can use any other port 83 is fine okay again next you have to give the passwords again now configuring the device it tells you how to configure the device which is easy i'll, I'll tell you how to do that and open dashboard all right
this is your dashboard that shows you how many um, uh, ads were blocked it shows nothing right now because there are no dns queries going to this guy at all and if you open this website i use this adblocker.com to test you can see that all the ads are still shown right because i have not configured my dns server yet so the first part is done where you have configured um ad guard the ad guard is now running on your ugreen the second part is telling your devices to use this dns server all right ideally this should be done on your router because once you do it on the router um, all the devices on your network will use the dns server of your router but i'll show you how to do this on windows or rather i can do it from here <clears throat> okay that's my ethernet i can edit the dns server here to manual so my preferred dns server here is now 10303163 okay so what you're doing here now basically is every time you try to look up for example www dot uh, let's say adblocker.com okay um you ask your computer asks a dns server how to reach adsblocker.com all right um, it gives you an ip address and then you don't visit adsblocker.com you rather visit the ip address that belongs to adsblocker.com so once you do it on the dns server your dns server is going to always block whatever you have it's going to block any um, uh, uh, ad servers which are there in the database so once we say save now 10 30 30 163 is going to take care of your dns queries now let's try to open this website and you see now there are see these ads okay they came this time i will have to refresh it with shift all right ads are gone and if you look at your okay so 118 dns queries were there even though you visited only one website there were 118 different dns queries for that single website 40 were blocked by the filter right this is it very very easy and then you can play around on these settings you have got different kind of filters and you know um you have parental control and everything built in which is very easy because this, this gui is very modern um everything can be uh, can be done from here you don't have to touch uh, any of uh, command line uh, this is it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to ask them in the comment box and I'll uh, reply as soon as I can. Thank you.